Hey everyone, the Unpro Pro here, and welcome back to another episode of the Game Editor series. And this time we're going to be creating enemies. <clears throat> enemies and an artificial intelligence. Now I have a new little ability here. I can actually zoom in, which I like that. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, you I will no longer have to use Get It and all that. I can just zoom into the script editor and you guys can copy there. Alright, so create a new actor and name him, <coughs> name it, uh, Snake. Why snake? Sorry, I'll, I'll stop the zooming thing. Anyways, snake because okay, we actually gotta go to. And no, I'm not using. I'm I'm not using a Mac. I'm actually using Linux. It's just themed to look like a Mac. Okay, so anyways, all right. Uh. Okay, hang on. What was I gonna do? Oh, sorry, I lost the train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, go to your game editor folder, which mine would be here. So, so yeah, go to your game editor folder and go back to the tutorials thing, and then go to data, and then go to snake left, make the frame rate uh, 12, and then go to snake right, make the frame rate 12. <clears throat> All right, so now we're just gonna place them right here, and we're gonna start cloning them. One there, we're gonna have like one here. Uh, we're gonna have one like right here, and yeah. Okay, so for now, <laughs> go to your snake, and then receive events if out of vision. Nope. <laughs> Set no, and then okay, then go to uh, add in the events. Go to add, and then go to draw actor, and then go to script editor, and then you type. Here, I'll zoom in. Okay, yeah, then you would type if x is greater than uh, collider.x. Here, actually put this in between parentheses. Collider.x plus, um, plus 5. Put that in between parentheses so it should look like that. And then we're going to do, <laughs> by the way, in case you can't see it, it's a, uh, I'll just do it like this. Then you can really read it. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> x minus equals 2. Let's go 3. Yeah, x minus equals 3. Else, if, or no, let's just do if, if x is less than, in between parentheses, collider.x minus 5, and then we do x plus equals 3. So I'm that off. Oh, uh, another thing. Well, we don't need to zoom in for that. Uh, underneath the x minus equals 3, add a change animation. Uh, snake left, no change. And again, right here, just paste, just press Control V. It should have it copied. Snake right, and no change. What? Oh, Calder. That's why. I uh, a typo. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, well, we can see the snakes are following us. All right, cool. Now we're gonna make it to where. Okay, now that's awesome. That looked awesome. Now we're going to make it to where they actually collide with uh, the land. So, go back to your draw actor of the snake. And then, underneath all that, just in a blank area, just add... Uh, y, wait, if y velocity is less than 10, y velocity plus equals 0.5. And <coughs> add that. And then do uh, collision for the snake. Uh, top side of tiles, actually top or bottom side of tiles. Repeat yes. That's probably making you dizzy. Okay, so now um, and then go to the draw actor. No, I'm sorry. Top or bottom side. Just do a physical response. Zero and zero. <coughs> Left or right side. Uh, repeat yes. Double Y vel again. We're gonna do this script. I'll zoom in here. Double y vel equals y velocity. Um, physical response and y velocity equals y vel. Now we're going to add the physical response by going here to variables, functions, physical response, and setting it to zero and zero. Okay. <laughs> now he actually collides. Of course, that kind of looks buggy, but you know we don't we didn't set uh we didn't set any collision boxes up with the um, with the uh, 
with the snakes, which I know there's probably a way of doing that, but I just haven't really thought of it right now. Okay, so now we actually want the enemies to make contact with the player. So, all right. So go to your. Okay, go to the, the collider. <laughs> Do collision any side of snake. Yeah, any side of snake. Repeat, uh, no. Okay, we would do... And we would do... Okay, transp equals 0.99, which makes them, in, well, transparent. Uh, and make a variable by clicking... Here, I'll show you what transp looks like. Uh, yeah. Now, anyways, make a variable. And then, uh, name it D for death, I guess. And this will tell us if we're dead or not. <coughs> okay, so we have the variable. And then go to draw actor. Okay, actually, no, go to create actor. And then. <laughs> then uh, make two more variables. Actually, name, make a variable. We're gonna, I'm gonna explain it. Well, I'm gonna, we're gonna make an array. So name it X. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even talk. Okay, name it XY. And then click array, yes. Size, two and click add <clears throat> alright so now you do at the startup xy0 equals x xy1 equals y let me zoom in here so you can see that see something between those little square things alright so add and now draw actor okay uh... we're in the collider we don't have a draw actor in the collider, so go to add and then draw actor and then script editor. And then you would do if d equals equals one. How's it, Sorry. If d equals equals one, <coughs> then uh, x x geez t plus plus. If t wait is it t that we named it? Our timer variable. Yeah, it's t. Okay. T plus plus. If t equals equals 30, which is one second, x, y, wait, x equals x, y, 0, y equals x, y, 1. Oops, forgot the uh, things like that. t equals 0, d equals 0. <laughs> and now back at the collision thing, I forgot to add that. So go back to the collision of any side of the snake, and then underneath that type in d equals 1. And now okay so now he we die and then like the player gets respawned but notice he's still invisible so therefore go back while well, you're on your collider so go back to the uh, the draw actor and then t in here right underneath D equals zero transp equals zero okay so now if you collide with a snake you die and for some Honestly, like, I don't understand, like, why it does that. I've also had that kind of bug in my game. But I think a way to fix it is x velocity equals zero, y velocity equals zero. Okay. Might work. Here, let me move the game window here and we'll zoom it in. No, I don't understand, like, why he flies up in the air, but, uh,. It's definitely a stupid glitch, just to say the least. Um, um, geez. I honestly, I, I, I can't even begin to explain why, but here, let's try this. Go back to the collider, or the collision, of any side of the snake. D equals 1, X velocity equals 0. Y velocity equals zero. Now let's try putting it there. Because for some reason he's like launching way, way up in the air. And he still launches up in the air. I don't understand. Um, okay, guys, I have run into a bug that I don't know how to solve. Honestly, I would not be able to even begin to figure out like why this is doing this um 
I'll definitely figure it out eventually. But right now, I haven't did even the tiniest clue. Uh, X Veloc. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. <laughs> y Velocity equals 10. Let's try that. Now. Okay, there we go. Solved. Okay. So let's go like die by a snake in the other side. Okay. Let's like die from this one. <laughs> and there we go. Solved. Yes. I knew I'd solve it. For some reason, if it's zero, like, the magical collision just shoots them up in the air, I guess. Hold on. Let's. Hmm. Sweetness. Uh, there is another thing that I just realized, and that is you will continue to fall. So now we're gonna do this. If. Oh, okay. We can also do that. If d equals equals zero. Wait. If d equals equals one. This is at the very bottom of the player's draw actor. Collider. Dot y velocity equals zero. Now that way. Like um, <clears throat> when you collide, like you'll you'll just you'll stop and you won't. Okay, and uh, hang on. And then, and to stop moving, all you need to do is. Okay, here's how we're gonna stop the uh. If you if you're like if you're dead, you can't move. Here's how we fix that. Put a semicolon in front of that. And if D, wait, if not D, what's the explanation mark? DIR equals, and that's how you do that. So replace the INTDIR with uh, everything from here. Uh, hold on, everything from here. And once you're done, you can pause the video if you need to. And yeah, here, right here, pause it. Okay, now that you're done doing that, now it should work. Oh, wait. Uh, dude. Okay, never mind. It's being an a hole. Dude. DIR, man. It's right there. Not unidentified. Okay, so we're just going to have to make the DIR variable in the variables. So go to variables. Go to D or type in DIR. Now get rid of the INT part. And then, so your thing should look like that after you created the variable DIR. If not D, which means if you're not dead, then it equals that. Uh, oh yeah, we need to add something else. If dead, or if D, sorry, uh, you would do DIR equals zero. Okay. And then, line three. Oh, that's comical, man. Oh, wow, I have it backwards. Jeez, I'm a doof. Man, I'm an idiot. Alright, so now it should work. Yep. Now now you can't like move when you die. Um so I guess that'll cover this and the next episode we'll do lives and enemy defeating and score. See you guys.